What's up friends and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing another deep dive into a cutting edge sleep device. Now all the major sleep trackers on the market, we're talking Aura, we're talking Whoop, the Dream 1 and 2, they all just track your sleep, which is great if you're looking to kind of get a baseline for your quality of sleep. But I finally found a device that not only tracks, but also claims to improve your overall sleep quality. Holy moly. The Smart Sleep Headband by Philips. Yes, that is the same company that makes light bulbs. Ironic. This is a device with sensors that not only track your sleep, but also use sound waves to help improve your deep sleep. Sound too good to be true? Well, I put this thing to the test for 30 days and I am so stoked to share my full review with you. Plus, I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison with my Aura Ring. Shouldn't do that, right? But first, if you're new here, welcome. My mission is to help you achieve success without sacrificing your health or happiness. I do product reviews weekly, so if you're into it, hit that subscribe button, cool. So I'll be breaking things down into three main categories. Number one, functionality. How does this thing even work? Number two, feedback and flaws. How do I think this product worked for me? And number three, accuracy. How does this thing compare to the Aura Ring? Now, before I dive deep into the details, I think it's important to get this out of the way and just be transparent with you guys. This device is really aimed at people who get less than six hours of sleep per night. This is also not a device for people with sleep apnea or insomnia, but shift workers, new moms and dads, Heck, even astronauts. And yes, they are testing this thing in NASA. These would probably be perfect candidates for this device, but it is $400. So if you don't really have any trouble with your sleep quality, then save your money. I typically get about eight hours of sleep and feel pretty good throughout the day. So this device would be an overkill for me. Now, if you fall into the camp of people who really struggle with their sleep hours and quality, then keep on watching. Or if you really care about accuracy, and you want to see how the smart sleep compares to that of the Aura Ring, then keep watching as I do a deep dive breakdown into sleep smart versus Aura Ring stats. Cool. So let's get started with functionality. So this smart sleep headband is an EEG based wearable that uses highly sensitive sensors to detect deep sleep in real time. Now, no, this is not an EEG device like, say, the Dream 2. In my opinion, the Dream 2 is a bit more advanced and it offers more features. So if you wanna learn a little bit more about that, then I will link it in the description below. But the way the smart sleep works is by two sensors in the headband and another one behind the ear that's actually connected to a wire. These sensors track your brain waves and detect in real time what state of sleep you're in. Now, when you're actually in a state of deep sleep, these sensors will also trigger very specific sounds. Now, these sounds have been clinically studied to actually boost slow waves and improve the efficiency of your sleep. These tones are not loud. They're not gonna wake you or your partner up. In fact, I'm a pretty light sleeper and they didn't bother me at all. So basically the protocol is you put the headband on, you go to sleep, you try to not pull it off, blah, 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 wake up in the morning, and then you look at your mobile app, you sync it up, and it gives you a basis of how you slept. So the first thing you see is your quote unquote healthy sleep score, and this is out of 100. So as you'll see, the white outline represents your base score, and the teal outline is the sleep boost the device provided. So you know you got a shitty sleep if you've got a total score of 50. Now onto that sleep boost number. So what exactly is that? Well, that's their calculation for how many minutes of sound waves they played to keep you in a deep state of sleep that night. And just like the Aura Ring, when it comes to your total sleep score, this thing dings you for the time you went to sleep, how long you stayed asleep, when you got up, et cetera, et cetera. The app also has a sleep graph section, which gives you a little bit more of a detailed view into your overall nightly insights. Here's where you can see how long you were in REM, deep, and light sleep. To be honest, it's not the most aesthetic graph. I really think that this is where the Aura is far superior in the way that they present data to the end user. So next we have my feedback and flaws on the device. And I think we should start with the positives. For one, the material is really soft and comfortable. 
I personally think it's a much better fit than that of the Dream device. I had used Dream version number one a couple years back when it was first on the market and that thing was stiff and it irritated me and it always fell off going to bed. And the Smart Sleep also has a built-in tightener so you can actually tighten the back of your headband for people with small heads like me. Just kidding, I have a really big head. No, that's mouth. I have a big mouth. Also good news, the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi are both off when you're wearing the device at night, so you don't have to worry about getting blasted with EMFs all night long. And they also offer a very generous 30-day return policy with no restocking fee, plus you can get it at your local Best Buy, which makes it really easy to return. Wink, wink. But as I alluded to earlier in the video, this device was just not for me. And here's why. Well, to start, the most obvious thing is that this device was just not convenient to wear every single night. It's not sexy, it's bulky, and I think I might've accidentally ripped it off five times unconsciously <laughs> during the course of this experiment. Number two, the sensors are very sensitive. So much so that even on the nights I didn't rip it off my head, sometimes the band would move around too much and so it wouldn't get an accurate reading of my sleep data. So there's nothing more disappointing than waking up in the morning and seeing that you have no sleep stats for the night before. That really sucks. My aura ring has only failed me a couple of times and usually that's because I forgot to charge it. So that's really on me. Another pain point is before you go to sleep, you have to connect the smart sleep headband with your app. And that coupled with the fact that I had trouble connecting it a bunch of nights, it would take me five or 10 minutes to get the connection working, just really makes it annoying to wanna to keep using this device. Now let's talk about these sticky adhesives. So as I mentioned in my video on the Upright Go To Posture Tracker, <sighs> listen up manufacturers, sticky adhesives just don't work. For instance, the Smart Sleep said that these sticky adhesives would last up to three days. And I'll be honest with you, I could not get these sticky adhesives to last more than one night. Sometimes it didn't even go through the whole night. I don't know if it was like my crazy hair or something, but I just found that the stickiness wore off and I could not get a second reuse out of it. Plus, a package of these things costs you 30 bucks. So if you're wearing this every single night, you are now paying $400 plus tax for the device and another $30 for these packets of adhesives every single month. That adds up, my friends. All right, before we wrap up on this section, a couple more things to share. You have to charge this thing every single day. And sometimes you're just kind of in a rush to get out of the house. Well, not anymore. But if you are busy and you forget to charge it, then you are SOL the next day. Kids, look that up. Also, it sometimes left this weird like Star Trek mark on my forehead, which was not cute, didn't really get covered up by makeup, and uh, it was actually a little painful. Now, maybe that was my own fault because I did like to tighten the thing, but you know, they should be thinking about this for people with small foreheads. All right, so now that I've aired my grievances, let's move on to accuracy. So let's begin with the easiest of my three, my light sleep graph. So this is gonna be data of my Oura Ring versus Sleep Smart. You can see that both trackers track light sleep pretty well. You'll see similar trend lines for both, which suggests that they're both tracking similar data and it makes sense that the nights line up correctly. But then we go into REM sleep and we can see a lot of spikes in the smart sleep where I got a lot more highs and lows. So my guess is that this is because the tracking system in the headband is much more sensitive than that in the Oura Ring. So you could potentially get more precise and accurate data. Then we move over to deep sleep. And generally I see the same pattern in this graph. I see big rises and big falls together. However, I've got this few day chunk where my Oura Ring continued to be on the rise, whereas the smart sleep continued to decline. And I honestly just don't know which one of these is accurate. Throughout these four weeks of data, I really wasn't doing anything out of the ordinary. I was eating at the same time, exercising the same amount, so nothing really should have triggered a spike or a decline in either direction. And usually when I do change things up dramatically, I will see a correlation in my Oura Ring data. 
So maybe the ring is enough to get a good idea for the bigger trends. But if you're looking for very specific nuances like reading or playing video games before bed, then maybe the smart sleep is a good device for you to evaluate those things and their impact on your sleep. But as I've mentioned before, I've already learned a lot about my sleep patterns from over a year of wearing this aura ring, still on my finger. And to be completely honest, it's just more consistent and more comfortable. A lot of the lost nights that you don't see on this graph, but you will see here, you can see it's because either the headband stopped tracking or I probably pulled it off in the middle of the night, etc. Technical difficulties. So even though we might get some more specifically accurate data coming from the smart sleep, I think generally it's easier to see trends over time and get consistency of your sleep data by wearing the Aura Ring. So that is my take on the smart sleep. Do I think the science and the intent for better sleep is there? Absolutely. Do I think it's a well-designed machine? Somewhat. But do I think this is something that I would use consistently over time? Absolutely not. For me, a great product just flows seamlessly into your everyday routines and habits. You're not even thinking about it. And unfortunately, this smart sleep headband just lacked stickiness. Oh, <gasps> pun intended, of course. <laughs> Fuck, that was good. Now I have a couple more sleep tracker reviews in the works, so stay tuned for those. And thanks again so much for watching. If you like this video, you learned something, maybe you saved some money, go ahead and use those big thumbs and give this video a big thumbs up. I appreciate your support, guys. And remember, if you're not already subscribed, click on that subscribe button and join the type A tribe. And I can't wait to see you on the next one.